Welcome to Quick Stop, brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Check them out at luckydicecafe.com. And now for your hosts, Daniel Powell, Jason Alvey, and Tyler Speeds. Hey everybody, welcome to Clickstoff today. This is your host Daniel Powell speaking. Just want to let everybody know Clickstoff is brought to you by Trellentoad.com, world's largest hero clicks retailer. Find hero clicks new and old on Trellentoad.com and use coupon code Clickstoff for 50% off. 50, oh my god, no, 5%, 5% off your hero clicks order. 5% off your hero clicks order. And uh, merchant and pre-order items do not apply. If you like what you're listening to today on Clickstoff, check us out, patreon.com forward slash Clickstoff. Dollar and above gets entered into our monthly giveaways. Five dollars and above gets access to our patron Discord server for hero click strategy and tactics discussion. And joining me today, or joining us today, um, is... Tyler still needs to buy some of his team spees. Yeah, that's true. That is accurate. And also joining me today is Alex. I don't really know today. Sorry, Alex Kuz. <laughs> It's late. Hey, if you use uh, the coupon code Kuzinator, you get 50% off my OnlyFans Ooh. website. So there yeah. you go. You get to see some uh, sexy hero clicks playing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so to be honest, like today's recording was off the cuff because we got the watch list stuff today. Um, mm -hmm. But I want to go ahead and just say uh, off the bat, before we get to the watch list stuff, I had something else to talk about real quick. I am I am just tilted because I had our first so this our unboxing comes out this morning compared to the release of this podcast um, mm -hmm. so folks will have watched the unboxing by the time they get to the podcast and I had our first technical difficulty in three years of recording unboxings for WizKids Oof. and um, I'm just like it, it. Just like I understand that I can't be too mad at myself or whatever because like technology fucks up occasionally, and mm. but like I'm just disappointed. Like we had this nice big long thing, and it just we can't redo that like uh, off the cuff, right? The raw reaction mm. is there, and it's just whatever it yeah. is. So, <laughs> yeah, you're opening the brick, yeah. You're opening the brick, right? But, we you know, we showed everybody, everybody gets the cards and the the dials and the the figures and that sort of thing. And um, I will say the translucent juggernaut Tyler mm -hmm. uh, has a really nice ass. That's good because that was the complaint on the sculpt. Oddly enough, on the last one, it was his ass was not big enough. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah that's that's why you refuse to play it. I'm glad they. Yeah, like, you know that. what? Oh I can't God. play this. I asked for a bigger <laughs> ass, and I did not get it. I did. I was... This was a narrative when I first released when I first showed pictures of it. it. Was this exact conversation about Juggernaut's ass? So I'm glad that's coming up again. Oh my gosh! So <laughs> um, let's just hop in right into the watch list stuff while we're before we all fall asleep for tonight. Um, and I, and and you guys uh, preface this. Usually these type of things we would have done like a live stream for, but you we uh, Dan and then were recording the unboxing yeah. so it really didn't it, it happened to release uh, we weren't expecting it today like i didn't think it was going to be today so um i that's why we didn't do a live stream because usually with these type of things where it's like sudden news we try yeah. to do a live stream because that makes it easier and more interactive but unfortunately this time it, it happened to be on the day that we were uh jason and dan were going to record the um unboxing and no way to do that and a live stream because it we record at like 10 10 30 11 and no one wants to watch a live stream at a, that right. time 
Yeah. On so, a Thursday was, night. Yeah, and plus we weren't planning on really doing a podcast this week because of the unboxing. Um, mm-hmm. So, but here we are. So we're going to go from least spicy to spicy. Um, mm-hmm. And I would say, so we have our first question to answer. And um, so are we talking about all of that? And the uh, Miguel Alfredo Gonzalez um, mm. said the erratas in worlds, um, which is well, what we're on it, which is what we're talking <laughs> about today. So um, and just so you know, Joe Greco did ask, is there a video of you guys eating the wings, a separate video? Jason and I did go live from the restaurant tonight um, as well. So we did an unboxing video times two. Um, mm. Basically, the wings unboxing, and then well, no, no, we did an unboxing video of the actual oh. brick twice, basically. Yeah, 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 and then we did a live video from the restaurant, and now we're doing a podcast. So, mm. um, it, admittedly, at this point, like I'm looking forward to the July Fourth weekend to like mm-hmm. kind of like, a lot of clicks in the past like twelve hours, basically. Cause, <laughs> sure. Um, I was thinking about the unboxing during all my quiet time at, during quiet time at work today or whatever, like in between my meetings and stuff. And I'm just like, clicks, 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 clicks. Now I'm like, okay, let's take uh, some firework break. So I, you um, had me about the question, whether you have like nap time at work, time. You, <laughs> you're like, we have a quiet time. And I'm like, wait, what? No, like, yeah, we get 30 minutes to sit there in silence. No, I, that would be awesome. But no, just. <laughs> Uh, just in between my meetings and stuff, right? Like, mm-hmm. um, you know, um, that sort of thing. No, I wish I had quiet time, but no, it's usually just if one meeting gets to finish early, that's my quiet time. Gotcha. So, um, but yeah, Joe, we, we did go live for eating wings. So, least spicy errata. Uh, so we only got, well, first off, we got a total of three Al, just, alex we get it we get no we we got <laughs> we're we going got, through them alex. we got results the watch on, list. we got results on everything that went onto the watch list correct right okay. that's what i mean like okay we got we got results going through them. all of it alex well it's you're spoiler. saying at least spicy so i didn't know if you were starting with the ones that yeah didn't we're, get we're starting change, we're, we're so. we don't know that alex until we review it you're spoiling you're spoiling I mean, it, Alex. everyone's read you. Everyone's read it by now. No, I mean, you don't know that. Yes, know I that. do know it. You don't know yep, that. Yeah, everyone has. No. All right. So, alchemical potion. They reviewed the effect where you uh, <laughs> move the thingy around the circle on the front of the card, um, uh-huh. and the result of that review of the watch list was no change. Man, they the page for the watch they really updated. It looks a lot better than the first yes, time I looked yes. at it. Yes, uh, it didn't have the right formatting. You look at it now, and man, is it way it's cleaner? Popping. Yeah, it's popping. yeah. It kind of looks like the uh, solo the uh, the cups you had the mouthwash in in the nineties, but in a, <laughs> but it but in a good way. In the best way, in All the right. best way possible that that could have been. Um. <laughs> I mean, I like it. Right, that's right, a yeah. good. That's a good style choice. I like it. I mean, I do too. So it's not uh, on the win, though. That's weird. So that's because it's not effective yet until July 11th. So I know, but they would. I would think they would put it on there and say not effective until July 11th because they did that with like things coming out, like I not know. not legal until blah 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 for a certain. That's true. Con LEs and stuff, but maybe you know they got time. So at either rate. Um, there is no effect on the July until July 11th on the alchemical potion. Um, and then there's still no effect. And there's still no effect. Yes. <laughs> so, All right. um, everybody's turning off the episode. Yeah. Blackheart. Like, they reviewed Blackheart. his. They reviewed his uh, KO a character. KO his guard um, mm-hmm. effect and dealing penetrating damage and all other stuff. Uh, his heart of darkness trait, and the result was no change. Um, that one, that yeah. once we're not we're we're not surprised on that one though, right? Uh, I'm not super surprised. I I think that uh, he probably got on the watch list back when he was played a ton more. Um, the retirement of uh, what's it called? Rain and terror. Yeah, I heard him a lot. 
Um, I still think he's a great figure. I still think he's definitely playable, and you can build around him. But it, it is harder, and specifically today's meta with things you know like the rune marker. He's also weak to mind control, so Thanos affects him too. But yeah, I, I'm not spoiler alerts, Tyler. Spoiler alerts. I've just said the word Thanos. That's not a spoiler. (laughs) I I also think they, because we've seen this before, I think they put certain things on the watch list to be like, hey, yeah, we, to to appease some people maybe to say, oh, yes, we're we're keeping an eye on this dude, but then they have no intention. Refuse to believe that because they did not watch watch list Vulture. Well, no, that's a different theory. (laughs) <laughs> like, like, no, that. What's the theory uh, on Vulture? Someone in WizKids <laughs> loved Vulture and said, "No, this is how we designed him. Oh. This is what we intended all along. Uh-huh. Kind of suck it up and deal with it." Who is probably the same person who designed uh, somebody else? We'll talk about. Sure. Uh, um, but yeah, right. I'm not so, super. Yeah, surprised about Blackheart. Um, yeah. all right. Um, sorry, Jason is uh, going to be joining us. <laughs> tonight at some point uh oh so yeah jason we're just going through the non-spicy ones right now um so on the watch list on the watch list so um the next non-spicy one so i'm i think there's the next two might have a little bit of discussion so i'm going to go through what i think is the least spicy of the spicy no changes okay all right you better say it Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's maggot. Um, I, I'm. I'm not. I definitely. I. I definitely in. In theory, agree with that either way. So maggot. Mm-hmm. Uh, his thing was free. Remove an adjacent any or mini mini. Free. Remove or mo. Any. <laughs> remove an adjacent any or mini bystander from the map. If you do remove all of that bystander's food token and give them to maggot, a result was no change. I think this was a miss. Okay. I do not think that Eni or Meeny should be sucked up the turn that they're put out. I, I think yeah, I mean that's. I think it's just too powerful. What power- was discussed? Yeah, and they didn't think that it was. I mean, which is fine. I mean, I can't argue with it at this point, but. Um, sure, you can. That's why we're here. Well, that I'm going to argue with some stuff later. Right. So, <laughs> but I, I think that was a miss. I, I really do. And this is right. Well, what you would say? I said I think Maggot is like the least of our problems when you're looking at these figures, right? Well, I think problematic. I think the concern there is X Men coming going forward. Like we're about to get a lot more X Men figures because we got another set and a half of X Men. So I think the concern there is X Men's already really good. And they're about to get, they lost Dark Phoenix, but now, not for Nationals, but after Nationals, they'll be getting X of Swords, Ten of Swords, whatever. So it's, um, yeah. there's some concern there, I feel. But that's my biggest concern with Maggot. Yeah, I still feel like it's just fine. I feel like... I'm not worried about it. I feel like Maggot kind of came out of nowhere. I didn't really hear anybody complain about Maggot until people started complaining about Thanos and then it, it, like everybody started complaining about everything because somebody said Thanos should be nerfed. And then everybody else voiced all their opinions about everything else. And it sort of came up. I, yeah, you know, I love, Maggot. I, I, you know, I, I advocated that he should be more in contention for player or piece of the year last year. Um, because I, I he's really, really, really good. Um, right. I I I think he's fine, but I do get the argument. My main problem with him is not eating it up afterwards. I think that the thing that makes him so good is that he can poison after he moves. Right? That's something that's like I, it's it's very it can be problematic when you deal damage um, right. from range without being uh, having to roll for it. So I think that would be wait. What? Um, the whoa, thing whoa, whoa, whoa! What? It can be problematic when that happens. Wow. It doesn't have to be. Tyler, you've you've evolved. <laughs> I've not. I've maintained that position. No, no. Be- because there, I don't think that maggot is a problem. I there, just said there it was can never the, cause there, problems. There was never those words out of your mouth about mini shredder. Yeah, I I don't think I agree with that. 
Just same with Maggot. I don't think he needs changed. Are, are you? But, a, yeah, I can are understand you a, the are argument. Are you a, are you rattering rattling your opinions from four years ago? No, I, I, what I'm saying is that it can cause problems. I know when you okay. do damage without rolling for it, and I understand the concern. But I, I think Maggot's still fine. Right. Um. I. 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 I tend to think so, but like I. I think that it's just the fact that you don't get to interact with it. Right, and I, I, I think that the pog generation and poison is powerful, right? But I don't think that's the problem. I think it's the fact that something can attack you, and you just don't get to interact with it at all, right? Like the, really, you think that? No, 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 no. Mm. So. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. We're not gonna sit here and talk about a team that has to be next to you to do that when you're gonna sit across the mat behind five walls. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, so. well, uh, that's a that's a good that's argument. A that's no, a good no. argument. But at least Thanos exists on the map. Eni or Meany is just gone. I Eni or Meany can't even poison you through fucking like your damage reducers. They have to be next to you. You're <laughs> this is total bullshit. Come on. I. I understand what you're saying, Dan, that they, they do leave the map, but you do have interaction with the Pogs because Meanie is still there, right? So you just, or sorry, uh, Maggot is Maggot. still there. So you would just, right, you, you're, the interaction is kill Maggot so he can't do it again. Mm, is my that's, opinion. That's a pretty good interaction. That's the one I usually go for. Yeah, it's not so. bad. Um, but at any rate, um, so the other one, the next one that didn't have any change was Sky Tyrant. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think that the Sky Tyrant was his speed I think, power. I think that yeah, I think that Sky Tyrant's our new brother voodoo. Uh, for those that are a little bit old, uh, OGer, um, brother voodoo was on the Sky uh, the watch list like two or three times, and they're like, "No, nah, he's fine." Mm. Yep. No, nah, he's fine. Mm-hmm. And guess what? His thing was he did mind control for free. He did. Yep. And <laughs> yes, he did. He's totally fine. <laughs> totally, totally fine. I don't, I don't know about that, but okay. Yeah. Um, I, I think this was a miss. I think I would have liked to see some small hit to Sky Tyrant. Um, obviously he's fallen out of favor recently, but he's still really, really strong. And I think, excuse me, that if the meta shifts towards something that would favor him again or there's an item that comes out that would favor him again i think that he can be problematic just because of how well all of his stuff works together and how cheap he is and how hard he is to kill so i would have liked mm-hmm. to change and the one that i think i su- i suggested is just his half move thing just do that once per turn is all i want just a small nerf make him stay within six at least of the the people that he just killed <laughs> and you have to kill him three times yeah, so that that's the only just some something or another change, but just something small, just to make sure he doesn't get out of line again is what I would have liked. Because obviously right now he's not popular, but I think he could come back. Yeah, he's really close to being really good again. I, mm-hmm. I, I mean, and he's I, still really good, right? Like if someone has guys right on their team, you're not like, what are you doing? You're like, wow, that's a really good piece. I have to watch out for that. Right. It's just he's just old. It's it's literally the thing that no, it, it's not. It's just I just he's just not as good right now going into nationals. I don't think he lost he, the power gem. And yeah, the power gem was a, a hit for sure. Yeah, yeah, but we've talked about how Scarab's better. Like I, yeah, I, I we know Monster took a hit in general to losing all the the fluff. I don't mm-hmm. think Sky Sky Tyrant's bad in this meta. I think it's just people are moving on from those monster teams and moving on to just a lot of other teams that are now viable. Oh uh, yeah, there's probably an element of that. I don't disagree with that. Yeah. But yeah, I get yeah. what you guys are saying. Like that there's probably it's like a little bit of both. I think it's there's an element of him not being uh in this current meta, but I think it's a lot of it also has to do with, you know, he's been around for over a year and some change. People are kinda New shiny things are fun. Yes. That is yes. true. No. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I think I agree with what, just in general with what uh, with what you said, Tyler. It just he he needed a little bit of thing to keep him in check for the long run. Yeah, just in case some shifts later. Yeah, I agreed. Which I mean, you know, I mean he's in modern for he came out in twenty one, so he's modern until at least July of twenty three. Three. 
So, he's got a year. He's got a year, so, um, I mean, there's, you know, what, like, what do we see? The Avengers set coming out we know of, and uh, the DC Batman set. Batman team up. The yeah, Batman yeah. team up, yeah. So at least two more sets, I mean, that we know of, and then probably, uh, at least if history holds true, uh, a February set, a April set, and a May set before he retires? April May might be close, but yeah. I mean, we've got a whole year. Yeah. A whole year of sets, basically. Yeah. So, I mean, there's plenty of time. Uh-huh. At least five to six sets, probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Next. Um, so <laughs> let's see. I'm trying to think what. All right, just give me a second to think about what the least. Okay, so I think the next least spicy is pretty straightforward. Uh-huh. Um, I agree. Uh, Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine <laughs> just got fixed, right? Like his his, yeah. loop, his loophole right. is closed. Um, I think I, I like that that he always has to have a mark. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that makes him like an even. It obviously fixed the loophole, Mm -hmm. but, like, it made him an even... It's even better. It's, like, an even better character design. I don't know. Because... It's how he was... It's how he was intended, I think. Well, no, no. I'm just thinking, like... I'm just thinking, like... So, like, if you're playing a game of Heroclix and Wolverine KOs his mark, Mm -hmm. what's he going to do, like, thematically... Right? Not yeah, th- thematically. Th- thematically, yeah, agree, yeah. thematically, what's Wolverine going to do the rest of the game? Right? Mm-hmm. Thematically, if his mark is KO'd and he has no mark, to me, thematically, Wolverine should just leave the map. Right? He would just leave the battle, right? So, mm-hmm. from, from an imaginative standpoint, him selecting a new mark and going after it makes a lot of sense to me. And... Yeah, it makes perfect sense, and yeah. it needed fixed, so <laughs> this was the fix. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, this probably should have just been an errata that happened after Empire came out. Like, yeah, that makes sense. That's what it's this... not like he was overpowered or anything. I mean, he kind of was, but nobody was running him. Well, yeah, him. it's not. Yeah, it's exactly. It's not like they built him specifically this way, and then it was just too much. It was. Yeah, we kind of forgot about swap tech. <laughs> yeah. um, whoopsie. And they even said that, you know, it's like, it's problematic when combined with the swap tech. It's like, yeah, yeah. everyone knew that as soon as it came out. Right. Yeah, it was just, a, it seems like it was just a miss, and they fixed yeah. it. So good good on them to at least, well, you know, throw it in there and fix it. So. Yep. Um, so... Got three more. Three more. Um, I, I, I feel like I'm kind of like guessing if Tyler's going to agree with me or not. Um, <laughs> so I think the next least spicy... Um, hmm, I feel like the next two after this one are going to be a little bit hard. Um, okay. So I think it's got to be the fire, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, yep. so... The fire, uh, around two things. They fixed the... Ti- they didn't fix. Uh, they they had the timing on the fire marker match what was already at, in, in HC Realms. So, the yeah. Realms doesn't have to update their, in, their previously incorrect <laughs> wording. Realms was right the whole time, actually. Realms was just right the whole time. Oh, you know what? I take that right. They fixed their wording. Oh, now they gotta change it again. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do say it's gonna be like a realms Illuminati theory now, <laughs> right? I love it. They fixed it, and oh, now it's got to go back. Oh, that's so <laughs> funny. Because remember, whenever we first started playing it, I, you know, back last year this time, we yeah, were like, I we were like, we were like, oh, it's every each turn, and then somebody was like, uh, no, it's every turn. And we're like, oh my god, it's so much better. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they they reverted that. I, I would. I keep saying it that way. They reverted it to the previous realms wording, uh, so it's yeah. only at the beginning of your turn as the fire controller, um, mm-hmm. which is a pretty decent hit. Um, yeah, it's huge because um, the... you would just KO things before previously. And the biggest thing is that before, when you applied it, 
it was an automatic one damage without any interaction. Like, they could not stop that at least doing one damage. And there's nothing they can do about it because it's at the beginning of their turn. Yeah. So you could just, if there's a one-click figure, it's just dead. Assume, now, assuming, no, assuming no offensible, right, that, just to be clear. Yeah, sure, that's fair. Um, but yeah, now you can do something about it, or you can just you just accept that the figure's going to die and act with it at least for a turn. Um, so it's it's a major, major nerf thing. Right, or you can, you know, get ahead of it by just clearing. Yeah, either one. Right. Now, it is still fairly powerful against things without action tokens. Uh, mm -hmm. You still get that same... Well, not the same, but you at least get two damage. No. No, that's just down to one now. It would be one guaranteed damage, yeah. That's correct, yeah, yeah. Instead of three. Yeah. <sighs> so... Um... Then the so the other thing that they fixed was how you rolled for it. Um, mm -hmm. So before well, and I got to I got to read this. So uh, instead of being able to determine the direction that when you do that you have to turn it clockwise. Mm -hmm. um, so now you can leave it there still. Uh, you don't. I. I. So what I was the reason I said that is I was thinking that they were going to make you roll each turn for it. Yeah, I thought that might be it too. That was more. I feel like that's what they. Sh yeah, that's where they what they should have done in my opinion. I'm okay with this because the the other way is kind of dumb. <laughs> it's like like you have to roll for it, and so it's supposed to be random, but you can go either way. So a one and a three is the exact same. So it's like a sixty six percent chance to land on what you want. Right now it's a right now no. no no, I'm talking specifically about you don't have to roll it each turn. I was hoping it was going to be goes one direction, you have to roll it each turn. Yeah, and you I have to change the effect. I just I like this change better because it's um, you you if you land on what you want, you can stay on it, and it's great. Um, but it is it, it no, just no, no, makes no. more sense to me. No, Tyler, I, I would take that back. No, let, let me let me add to what I was going to say. Not take it back. Um, I was going to think that it was going to be clockwise. And you have to roll for the uh, turn. Yes, yes, that's where I was leaning to. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so, um, I, I think that this is fine. Um, I, I still think it's playable. I don't. Um, <laughs> this so is so much worse. I don't think it's as playable that's... On, on what we're getting to on Thanos. Um, I think it's... <sighs> I don't think it is playable. It's so much, so much worse. Just so, this change alone. I, I agree. So fire tokens were off the chain, right? Mm -hmm. But we also lost uh, a lot of like retail in the retirement. So I was already getting a bit soft on um, the fire to begin with because mm -hmm. of the lack of retail. Um, but... I think with a lot of the other changes I've been going through the past, I don't know, about six weeks at this point, um, was, you know, the fire needed to be manipulated differently. The splash damage is still huge. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of squishes out there, right? Uh, Saki Iron Man doesn't like getting splashed. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't like the fire token because he doesn't want to clear well, that's true too, and that affects him a lot less now. Yeah. Um, but in, in things that can attack multiple times per turn, the splash damage is more powerful, anyways. Um, I mean, because you talk about like you got your Blackheart KO'd by Joe uh, yeah. Alves, <laughs> charge flurrying you with the splash damage, right? Yeah. Yeah, he used um, the. What's his face? The doppelganger symbiote yeah doppelganger prime and he charged flurried and then charged but yeah so he just dealt three damage to a ton of people um it's right. still yeah it, it can still do that mm -hmm. um a, a bit harder I, to get there but yeah i the big reason it was played is because it was basically consistent like not exactly but if you equip a turn one and roll you have a 66 percent chance to land on what you want it to be on and then if you miss it that's fine because that's not the turn you're going. And then the following turn, you have an additional 66% chance to land on what you want again. So it's basically like a 90, I think it was like 92 or something percent chance to be on what you want. Mm -hmm. Like by the time you're going to act. 
So it was it, it, obviously there are games when it doesn't happen, and the eff- other effects are good. But it it was the, that's the reason it was all of its effects are good. They will benefit your team to have right. them. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I had that, but just I had that eight percent chance happen more than once. Well, yeah, it, it was wild. You play if you play ten games with it, it's going to happen. So right. <laughs> I mean, it, but it 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 becomes so it's such a. Because it's not, it's only 33% now, right? Which is bad. It's half. But it's even more than half. Because in the next turn, if you rolled poorly, you, it's a, it's basically another 33%, which is way less than... Six. So it, like, it adds up to where, I, I don't even know if... It might be a 50% chance to land on what you want from a 90-something percent chance. So it's mm-hmm. much... Well, I, I, I guess the big question, though, is... What do you consider what you want? Like you want the fire token, but are you okay with settling for penetrating damage? Are you okay with settling for deal one damage each character adjacent to the hit character? Like there's like if I'm rolling for fire and I end up on penetrating, I'm probably okay with that. So that that increases the odds of me getting a negative one, which is probably what the bottom left modify their hit characters, modify their attack minus two. That's probably the worst it's... one on here. Well, I don't know. I, I like that effect a lot. Um, well, then at that, oh. yeah. I, I mean, if you're okay with most of these effects, then I think fire is fine. You're okay with them, but having consistency and being able to plan out the turn is a big deal. But I, I don't think right. But I don't think if you're planning on attacking someone, I don't think hitting one of these other ones really changes who you plan on. Maybe changes who you plan on attacking. But probably doesn't change the fact that you're attacking is what I'm, I'm, I'm meaning. Like it's, I think you can you can work around it. It isn't ideal, but I don't think it's bad. It's not like you roll misfire and you get nothing, or like with the potion you end up with like some really bad ability. I agree. It is better than the potion. I agree with that. Yeah, I wish they actually made the potion better. I was really hoping they would be like, yo, we realize this thing is garbage, so we're trying to make it where you roll a d6 and you just you just choose a power. No, like whatever they could do to just make yeah, yeah, yeah. it somewhat better than what it is right now. Cause... Right. Uh, yeah, I I don't think this is play. I don't think it's sees play anymore. I think it barely did before, really only on Thanos. And that's because it was so good with his, you know, free mind control. And you know, some of these effects aren't aren't very good with the free mind control. Um, some of them are, but it, just with it the, being less consistent the and the fire attack really sucks with free mind control. <laughs> uh, I think it's after. Is it not after resolution? No, no it's not. No, so when they're hit, yeah. yeah. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be a very big negative um, if was. your whole plan is to mind control. I've tournament. been there yeah. before. I've been there. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So. I've... Um, I, what I'll say is I think, yes, technically you won't see this, but I think some people don't know the numbers like you do, Tyler. And I think it's still going to see play. Well, Because they're not looking at it from a, oh, it's a 50, 30-something percent chance. I think you'll get, because, you know, not all Heroclix players are as math savvy as you are. So. Well. Sure. But our listeners are now, right? None of them are going to play it, right, guys? Uh, maybe, maybe they all heard you say, so it's a... <laughs> You're telling me it's a 50-50? I'm done. Right. You mean I have an okay chance? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Jason, you have a little bit of wind noise right now, too, buddy. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm driving. It may be road noise. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. That's just FYI for everybody listening right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so, all right. So, I, I I want. So here's the two things. Right. Uh-huh. The next two we talk about are on our teams. So I want to talk about the next two in a bubble, and then I want to. Then we can talk about our road to national stuff. For this for yourself, well, whatever. <laughs> but not and, on our teams. So yeah, not on our teams. <laughs> and yeah, and, well, as <laughs> well as is also is playing Molecule Man. So true. That is um, true. Mm-hmm. Possibly. So po- <laughs> most likely. Um, <laughs> so let's just talk about Molecule Man. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I've, I've been I've been waiting. Holy crap, guys! <laughs> they buffed a figure with a watch list. How did How did they buff? 
<laughs> I don't understand. Did, do they not realize this is a buff? Because it is. It well, clearly they, is. Did they? What did they just? They just buffed something else, right? That we were like, hey, that's an actual buff with an uh, an errata or something. What was it? That's now better. Was it a uh, watcher? They that wasn't a buff. I maintain that was no, not a there buff. Was some, I thought there was something it was, else. It was the Watcher, but I don't okay. think that was a buff. Okay. Because So now there's a history of them <laughs> doing an errata with the buff. Um, like, didn't, we, didn't we think Flash was better after the errata? Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Jason. It was Flash. Yes. Oh, yeah. true. That's true, too. Yeah, it's an errata that you're like, oh. And you're like, oh. No, no, yeah, okay. yeah. So now's the third time because... I think technically Watcher could have been errated harder. Like, errated in such a way that wasn't so good. Now, he's we've played him, and he's not that great. But I feel like... He was broken yes. before. And, and he was broken in a way that he wouldn't have been played. That uh, a judge wouldn't have let you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he was errated in a way that was is super powerful. This um, one is orders of magnitude more impactful than either of those that i agree but now so like uh i don't I know wonder, about the flash one flash I, one's I pretty big the flash no, one's not. this is bigger than flash i agree with tyler um orders but, of magnitude so but bigger. tyler so here's the real question then i guess are we are we at the top of the bell curve or is it stair stepping is the next figure to get buffed gonna go nuclear I don't think so. I feel like they thought somebody at WizKids might have thought this was a nerf. Because technically, a D6 is three and a half. So on average, you are converting less with this change. That is true. But, but it, so like, like as an example, if you have a three on your damage and you have blades, you should roll blades because you, you the average is three and a half. Obviously not if it's like a one-click figure or two-click figure or something like that. Barring that, though, you should roll because it's better to have a three and a half percent average than well, a three I, I, I three-click figures where you make that. Sure, yeah. <laughs> but uh, on average, it's better to have three and a half average than a three. That's right. true, but most of the time when you're using Molecule Man for this effect... You don't need six. Six is almost irrelevant. Like, it can let you double up on some stuff. But really, when you're rolling this dice, you're basically praying not to get a one or a two. You're right. like, if I don't get a one or a two, I can cover my figures, and that's it. Right. So let's talk about the change real quick, because we never actually sure. said that. Yeah. For, uh, for those that haven't read the watch list, um, <laughs> uh, per Alex. Um, so mm -hmm. he's got to keep, he got to keep Smoke Cloud as free, which is still the best version of Smoke Cloud. That I, yeah, that's true. Right, I, I don't think, and it's all six as free. That's still the mm -hmm. best version of Smoke Cloud. Uh, before he rolled a d6 and uh, chose a number of non-debris terrain markers within range. Mm -hmm. um, now he doesn't have to roll. That saves time, um, and he just gets to choose three. Yep, it's just three. Just instead three instead of rolling for it. Just three. So that means that every turn he gets to put himself into stealth. At a minimum, this is at a minimum, every turn, mm -hmm. he puts himself into th stealth and encases himself in the corner of the map. Mm -hmm. At a minimum. Yeah. That, um, that is, it's obviously really good. Yeah. Or um, he guarantees gets through double deep barrier of your opponent's. Right, yeah. He's still just as effective as getting through barrier because you he's, never no, really needed he, more than two. That's right. Well, that's the thing, because you were hoping whenever you packed up your Molecule Man that you were like, OMGsers, I hope I don't roll a one. Roll a one, yeah. On this double deep barrier, because most of the time you had to move up your whole freaking team to be able to do it, mm -hmm. right? You were TKing somebody out, moving Molecule Man, you know, packing him up, you know, yeah. some, some other crazy... Then if you rolled a one, you were just screwed. Yeah, you were just like, well... I guess I'll just go on to the loser's bracket. Yep. And now that is never, ever going to happen, ever. Right. Um, um, so, like, keep in mind, right, like, with his willpower, because he's cosmic energy, Yep. two out of... So out of three turns, he can generate 17 squares of barrier in three turns. Yep. Um, and then if he hits Pretty one... Good. If he hits one willpower... 
He has seven squares of barrier every three turns with one successful willpower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, uh... Yeah, he he was... I, I don't know if he was the best piece in the game, but he, you know, he definitely was one of them, one of the five best pieces, probably the best support piece. He won meta piece of the year last year in our polls, right. and they decided to buff him. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. I cannot wrap my... Had a, the so their justification is what everybody's been saying for you know since we obviously started talking about this with Thanos and the watch list coming up is that he takes too long he's taking too much game time so they did this firstly I just have to say it I don't agree with that he did not take up too much time there are other pieces that take more time than him I don't think it took up that much time I've said that before so I'm already upset but then this change I it most of the time it's not going to save time. Right, you have to roll a dice which takes two seconds, and then you have to choose the three instead of choosing a random number. I think this might save five seconds a turn, probably less on average, is my opinion. So it doesn't, it doesn't even fix the problem they're trying to address, and it just makes the best piece better. This is a bad change. I hate this. I think it's. I agree. It's also a bad change. I don't. I don't particularly like the argument that there are other figures that take time, mm -hmm. uh, but. I get what you're trying. I, I get what you're saying. Um, I agree. I, I don't particularly like what they decided to do in this instance with it. I, I feel like they should have allowed the up to three, but just did away with the free smoke cloud and just been like, okay, you got a power action to do it, and you don't get all the extra. Like I, I feel like the extra is just unnecessary. Being able to do, like you said, Dan, mm -hmm. a ton more. Um, not a, not a ton more, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah. But uh, it is what it is, right? Like that's what we're. It is. I yeah. I I personally, and I said this before, didn't think he really needed a change. I thought he was really good, probably the best support piece. But that's fine. You don't need to nerf the best piece because there's always going to be a best piece. That's fine. I didn't think it was problematic. Now I think <laughs> now he might be. Now now I think you might need a nerf. I may have changed my mind. Um, I was of the opinion that they just make it a D3 instead of a D6, so just half the result. It just is a it's a nerf, it main it but it maintains the randomness, so you can still be screwed out on some of the interactions. It makes him a little bit less potent. Um, so that's what I would have liked to see. But it didn't address their the problem that I guess they're trying to address. So Yep. Yep. How excited are you, Dan? Uh, I don't know. What do you think, Jason? I want to hear from you for next. Uh, I don't know. It's it's uh, this whole watch list, as far as I'm concerned, didn't fix the thing that needed to be fixed. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it just missed. It was just a, it's a big swing and a miss. The whole thing, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Uh, this was there. Were, I there was two misses for me. This and Sky Tyrant, but this was. This is a big one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how somebody gets on a watch list as the best piece in the format or one of them, and then you buff him. It doesn't. It does not make sense to me. Right. I mean, they, they said that there is a with the with the set number of three markers. There is a slat downgrade to the effect that Molecule Man can no longer swap out four to six markers with a high roll. But at the that same time, that is true. It is a slight. It is a slight upgrade as well that there is no longer the possibility of a one-two low result. There, what they should have said was, is that four to six. Well, most of the time he's putting a smoke cloud in his own square, anyways, because he has stealth. Yeah. Um, and you're no longer clinching your asshole for a <laughs> for a one two roll anymore. Yeah, people people have lost games because they rolled a yeah. one on that barrier, and it and that's just gone now. It's I mean, so, you sacrificed your upper limit for consistency. Yeah, and the upper limit again. It it was not used that much. It it's it's it didn't do anything. You planned on getting three on it or two, however safe you wanted to be. You never planned on being on it being six. Um, the only thing where it's like a meaningful change here for the for the change on him is that when you were using him um, kind of offensively later in the game. Um, so if you wanted to. You know, later in the game, some pieces have been traded, and there's somebody that's going to act. You could smoke cloud around him and roll a hopefully roll a four or a six to just barrier a piece in for free. 
right. and that was hugely impactful and you can't do that anymore unless they're against the wall oh, so there is now he's what? garbage <laughs> so there it, it, it that is a meaningful thing that you can no longer do right so there is something there but you get so much from the consistency right. that it's not it's definitely above Yes, I agree. Yeah, boxing in an OMA or whatever, yeah, mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, so, the biggest, I wouldn't say the, the biggest, most impactful. So, um, I would say, like, this was not on PJ's poll, this particular option. It was mm -hmm. no, it was no smoke cloud as free. Mm -hmm. And, um,. Then the other option was uh, D three, uh, mm -hmm. so I had been practicing him some, practicing him some as uh, no smoke cloud, um, no free smoke cloud, no free smoke cloud, and mm -hmm. uh, he was totally fine. It's just a four square barrier piece. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, luckily though, guys, we there's no like maps he could play on that's just really <laughs> impressive. So thank God. Yeah, with barrier, thank goodness we don't have like uh, King's Tomb or anything anymore. So, right. yeah, just how good Molecule Man is. I think you can just completely remove the thing that lets him change things. I think he, he's totally viable as a thirty-point power cosmic piece with eleven attack, triple target, eight range, without wit, with free smoke cloud. I think that's good enough that he would see some play. Not obviously not. He wouldn't be the best in format, but I think he'd see some play as that. Right. He's a good figure. Yeah, I think. I mean, I didn't. I didn't play him. I didn't use his smoke cloud at all. Right. I just went mm -hmm. him with as a thirty point yeah. stealth, stealth outwit barrier piece, stealth barrier outwit piece, and with flight and yeah. um, you know power cosmic, and he was totally curve cosmic energy. He was totally fine. Um, yeah. So. The biggest change that at least nearest and dearest to my heart, um, Thanos. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll just say it. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> sure. Um, and that's what tells me that they didn't do enough. <laughs> um, do you want to read what it is real quick? Uh, so his mind control is still free. Uh, so they change it to when he uses it, he has improved targeting, hindering elevated blocking characters in adjacency. Um, so they it, they took away his ability to shoot with um, the improved targeting everything, uh, a regular range shot, um, or specifically like oh, I was using, I played him with a dark hold a little bit, you know, perplex and um, outwit outwit through everything, through everything is too right. Yeah, yeah. So um, he didn't. He didn't get hit. He can still be equipped. That didn't get. That mm -hmm. didn't get taken away from him. He's still a standard character, so he can have mm -hmm. the gauntlet and something else still, um, which is uh, uh, interesting. Um, mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I think it's funny. The funniest thing I think is that. They said that it was not the intent, so they they just printed him wrong. He was never supposed to be able to do that, um, and they made a mistake, and they're just fixing the mistake that they made. I think that's funny. They're not they, they're yeah. not commenting on his power level at all. They're just it, it was an oopsie. Um, yeah, it seems like a cop out. <laughs> I, I I think this is a fine change. Like I've I've kind of been of the opinion that. Um, he didn't need a change. I was a little bit on the edge, but that's always kind of been where I was at. Um, this change, I think, doesn't really affect how he's been seeing play recently. Um, it, it's obviously a nerf, right? Not being able to shoot through stuff, but he's still, you know, my control is free with a 10 range for 13 attack through everything. It's still crazy good. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's he's... not like there's, and it's not like there's a map where, like, you know, there's <laughs> a bunch of walls and it's really hard to navigate through for a lot of teams. Mm -hmm. That would be, you know, it's a good thing that none of those maps exist, right? Uh huh. So, yeah. I, <laughs> uh, Thanos is uh, again. I I think it's a good change. Probably, um, he's still going to be great. You're still going to see Thanos probably, probably almost just as much. I think maybe the the fire token or the fire being changed was probably the bigger nerf in my opinion um, than this. 
So but, uh, let's see. Let me. Uh, so uh, I'm going to just answer a couple of questions here. Um, mm-hmm. So I think um, Amato Romero asks: Is Thanos and or Fire still playable? Fire probably not right, but is Thanos still playable? Um, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because I've been playing him with that change for about a week now, based on PJ's poll, and he still feels fine. He feels the same way that Uni did post Errata. Um, and uh, it's a more defensive Thanos, which I don't want to quite shift into our World to National stuff yet, but it, it's a more defensive play. It's even more play hide-and-go-seek with the Mad Titan. Yeah, defensive hide and go seek. It's 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 run away is what it is, right? Uh, Acting and then you're phasing away. <laughs> you know what? Yep. I, I'm sorry he has six. I'm sorry he has the space gym still and it's free. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't don't put two pitchforks away, Pete. <laughs> don't put your Keep pitch. The memes coming. Oh my gosh! Get out of here! If I see it, <laughs> Thanos got his errata. The meme uh, people. Okay. All right. So. Um, you know what the uh, Jason, Jason's so Jason, mad. Jason, so mad. Jason, you're so mad that it's cutting you. It's cutting out on you. Yeah, we heard nothing. Yeah, we heard absolutely nothing. I think what's funny is out of everything on the watch list, the fire is the only thing that got changed because it was too potent. Like, yeah, that was the only one that got changed due to power. Everything mm-hmm. else was, yeah, whoopsies, you know, Molecule Man is too slow, uh, mm-hmm. you know, Wolverine, oops, oh, yeah. Thanos, oops, uh, but that fire, too yeah. potent. Too hey, potent. This, uh, yeah. that, that is, that is, is in line with my opinion, because is, I said it was the best thing, and that, these are the most changes. That's funny, but I'm all, that's right, Molecule Man, oh, he's too slow, oh, let's speed him up, making him more powerful, <laughs> speeds him the fuck up. Well, they sure did. Oh, I'm, hard, I'm hard as a rock for Molecule Man. <laughs> oh my goodness. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, good luck getting through seven squares, boys. Yeah. Well, now I'm adding a Empire Mr. Fantastic to my team again. He was off for a while. Well, now. It's, it sucks he's only three clicks deep with toughness. Boy, if only there was just something that shot for four. Well, luckily, no one could shoot through all that blocking. <laughs> True. For, for, for just because he could. Yeah, better better get those emotional modifiers back out of the box, fellas. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that is true. Um, um, so, uh, let's see here. I just want to say, um, so I, I guess, all right, hey, thanks for being on, Jason. Um, okay. Jason's yep. going to, Good night. Jason's going to bed. Uh, that's fair. I've so, been driving. I've been driving a bunch tonight. I gotta get up early. So he came, he came in to yell at Dan's comment. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's plenty. Yeah, no, you know what? Watch this. Well, this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. uh, so John Eric Hafford did mention this. Will other groups accept this Thanos mm-hmm. ruling, or do we get more memes? You know what? I better not see any more fucking Thanos memes because you got your errata. You got him on the watch list. Good luck. Uh, don't Good. say that. You're By saying them. that, yes, you're spurring them on. No, the I'm not. It's a effect. You, you know, are, 100%. I guess, I guess, because you know what? Uh, y'all talk about the oopsies and all this other stuff. No. Thanos was the first figure in Heroclix history to have gotten a watch list and an errata because of memes. <laughs> they, I don't know. But they specifically said it was an oopsie. Yeah, mm, no, they, I mean they, that's that's what you they. See, that's what let they me just s- control F meme. There's nothing on this page here. All right, so Due like the Thanos memes. Like, <laughs> so, so like if you if you line up the wording of the sentences just correct, <laughs> um, it spells out meme in the first letter uh, of the words. God, it's weird to say. It's <laughs> for you, Daniel. That's weird. <laughs> How'd that happen? Right? Yeah. 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 It's so weird. <laughs> so weird um mm-hmm. so let's see um <laughs> uh let's just finish up a couple of questions here patrick booth why does whiskey's love blackheart so much and when do they plan on settling down with him to have more hell babies um <laughs> so i guess uh, i'm sorry patrick sounds like blackheart has touched, you wanted a change <laughs> touched you in the wrong place 
Yeah. Um, I, um, so James Tilton, um, so the, the, I want to talk about the Thanos build stuff here in a minute, but he says, mm -hmm. I assume most of the community is happy about the Thanos change. No, I guess not. At least not Jason. Um, <laughs> but what about the, do we agree that Molecule Man got a buff? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yes. I'm just reading through the questions here real quick. I know we already said mm -hmm. that, but I just want to acknowledge that. So, um, yeah, it, George William Ong, how would Molecule Man's affect, yeah, make sure you have a rare Molecule Man. Um, he's still really True. good. Um, I already said that before, and I will say that after. Um, <laughs> Jeff Dumas, did people overreact to the original list? Yeah, yeah, Thanos was fine. He didn't need to be on there, so... Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. So, yeah, that's um, uh, you don't speak for all of us on that. that yeah, comment. yeah, it's fine. Just I'm going to edit this part out. So <laughs> sure, uh, sure. <laughs> but, oh yeah, we we know you well, Dan. You're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got to remember, history is written by the victors, or in this case, the uh, editors of the podcast. The editors of the podcast. True. Um, he's going to go in and edit. A, um, Jason's comment is you gonna like, splice it. Yeah, <laughs> splice it. Where he's no, like, is good. <laughs> <laughs> so one important note is that uh, these effects do not go into effect until July 11th, which is after Canadian Nats. Um, oh, uh, okay. So that's. I was wondering point. about that. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, Canadian Nats gets full on pre errata everything. You know what's funny? All right. I just want to present y'all with a what if. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, and I know that this wouldn't actually exist, but here's the what if, right? What if mm -hmm. Canadian Nats last so long that they have a late tournament on Sunday and they go into midnight into 1 a.m. on Monday? Te <laughs> technically, they would have to change the erratas because the erratas would go into effect. Or they just roll it at the beginning of the tournament and just say... Oh, I don't get all technical on me, Alex. They would have to... Oh, I'm sorry. They would have to change mid-tournament. I'm sorry. It's to be the wild... Introduce logic into this. Yeah, this is uh, this is not the podcast for logic today. So, um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Jeff. We're going to go over to changes of teams here soon. And Peter, will we will as well. Um, just real quick. I think the... Um... For like Canada, Canada stuff, I think that's probably a good thing, right? You don't want to have an errata effect because people have been building for that event um, without these changes in mind because they didn't know, right? So it seems kind of weird to switch it less than two weeks before. So I think that's probably think a good thing. Yeah, I, I honestly forgot it was so close. So when I saw July 11th, I was like, man, is WizKids just taking the whole week of 4th of July off and they just really don't? <laughs> Want to come back and update the website? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that makes a lot more sense than. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep, but uh, UK Nats is going to be the like the first yeah. big official event. That's right. With them. Yeah, yeah. That's what they're doing. Yeah, I'm just saying, if the Arata is in play, so I'm sure they're actually celebrating a little bit because they've Maybe. been. It's like they have the power weights <laughs> on, and now they get to release them because it's like I am not bound by these chains anymore. They uh -huh. do not affect me. Wait, who? Thanos. In Canada? Yeah, can the yeah, ones yeah. playing in Canadian Nats. Yeah. It's like true, they've true, been true. playing with a chain Thanos. And now it's like they don't have to for their nationals. Mm. So uh, sure. you're not wrong. Um mm -hmm. so um Alright, so how does this change our team building for American Nats? Um, on our road to nationals. I gotta. I guess I gotta come up with a theme song or something uh, at some point. That was it right there. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, ban dueling banjos. I don't think that was my play. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. I guess y'all two go first. Then I'm probably gonna talk about Thanos more. But um, does it doesn't. It does. Do you want to go ahead and issue your challenge, Tyler? Oh, yeah. Well, I want to go over the teams I've been running first because it's an update. Okay. Um, I made a new team. 
Um, it's a spider-friendly ruler team, and basically the whole idea is that it has two Venom Magnetos and Scarlet Witch and um, Pharaoh. Spider Pharaoh, because it's a ruler team and it has to. And the whole idea of the thing is that it, I can... Well, it's a plus nine, so hopefully I win map. And then... You know, you're on a four. I put you on a four by four map. I'm on a four by four map. And my turn one, before you get to act, I TK Scarlet Witch three times and place a rune marker in your starting area. And it doesn't care about first immunity. So then your first turn comes around and you don't have any powers uh, at all, which <laughs> which is, is annoying. Um, it's you know, it's it's fun to play, but it you know, you just got to be ready for it. So I <laughs> kind of wanted to mention it because. Um, I don't know if other people are going to play it, but it, you know, it's something to keep in mind. I might be playing in Nats, and you better have a plan to not have powers your first turn. So I would um, say, I would say, Tyler, here's the, at least here's what I think uh, is your motivation about talking about it is mm -hmm. uh, here at Clicked Off, we are about no secrets <laughs> um, or no gotcha moments in the meta, right? And mm -hmm. we've kind of talked about it the past month or so, or about what it's just whatever we saw the rune markers. Like, you could get mm -hmm. these, you can get these gals pretty far across the map. And yeah. you're you're saying, I think to some, you know, you're saying I can rune marker you turn zero. What you gonna do about it? Yeah, and it you gotta have a plan. Most of the plan just in, uh, most people can just move out of it, and so it's kind of like. A skip turn essentially you're just you can only do move actions there are some ways around it but it's um like thanos just something to with the, i mean yeah thanos can move out of it and then mind control still so he can still do that that's pretty good um it, it is but you you would rather it not be rune markered even with thanos right or his you know his his uh surrounding compatriots that's true um yeah it's also like um, it's a thing that Az learned during his monster match matchup, right, in the finals of uh, the Coffee and Clicks event, right? Because it's how many times when you face a Sky Tyrant, when you played Sky, when I played Sky Tyrant, there was so many times people just grouped their team up when they lost mm -hmm. map, and it's like, well, I'm just going to come over there and quake everybody. To whereas as like went through a plan where he spread his whole team out. If you go watch that video, uh, it's just kind of the same idea. Now it's hard to do on a four by four, but like don't automatically. I think it's impossible to do on a four. By depending four. on how big your team, depending on how big your team is. Um. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's still not possible. Well, so there's if you if you put in like. In a 4x4 four four map, there's seven squares on the edge, right? There's three and then four. So if you have seven people on that outer edge, and then you have one person in the very back corner, I can't ruin that very back person because I can't get her in because the whole edge is covered. So if you have an eight-man team, you can stop one of them from being ruined. So that is technically true. Hot. Your team's garbage now. <laughs> well, I've My eight people would have one in the corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been doing some testing on it. It's fun. Um, I won most of my games, but it's... I don't know if that's just because it's new and they didn't expect it, or if, if it's good enough after that, because you know, it's not much you can do to stop it. It's it's still coming if I win map, so... Um, yeah. But it's a fun team, and Sneak. I'm going to keep practicing. So, yeah, I've played, I've played the, against it quite a few times now. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, the challenge now... Oh, yes. So I have found a way with this team. So just to go over the team, because I'm issuing a challenge. The team is uh, Scarlet Witch at 75, um, Marvella for the celebrity, uh, Spider Pharaoh at 60 for Ruler, two uh, Venom Magnetos, uh, three Human Torches, the 20-point Deep Cuts celebrity one, and then one uh, Jimmy Woo for Perplex and PD, uh, 20 points. Yep. It is fun to say that. Um, but yeah, um, I have found a way with this team to rune marker. So if I lose map and they take me to Realm of Death, I can still, even on Realm of Death, rune marker their starting area turn one, like my turn one. 
I can have Scarlet Witch inside their starting area and, and Rune Marker. So she hasn't taken an action. Um, <laughs> it's the hardest thing I've ever done in Hero Clicks. It took me like a half hour. Alex was there. He, he watched me mumble like a madman for half an hour. Now, is, that, is it only on one side or? It's either side. Okay. Either side. Don't okay. care. So I'm, after this is released, the first five people that listen to this, um, the first five people that can send me instructions on Facebook Messenger of how to do it and end up in their starting area, turn turn my turn one, um, and drop the rune marker, I will pay PayPal five dollars. <laughs> Twenty five total. Um, so if you listen to this early, uh, get on it and message me, and I'm expecting, you know, messages tomorrow. Just because it, it was it was hard to do. I don't know if everybody can figure it out. Maybe I'm overblowing it, but uh, it was fun figuring it out. Um, it was like a little puzzle thing. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Something, something fun. Alex? Road yeah. Nats teams? Updates? Thoughts? So, my team is pretty solid. Like, I'm still going with the uh, Sarkashians, whatever I call it. Um, I hate that so much. Yeah, the Sarkashians, <laughs> which is, you know, the Celebrity, Scarlet Witch... Sarkarian Iron Man, and then a bunch of celebrity Fantastic Four that you switch out. So what has mostly been I've been working on is just maximizing the potential of the sideline, switching different pieces out. And now I'm going to have to make more changes based off of the watch list. Um, but uh, fortunately, uh, Isaac played a variation of this team mm. in the last broadcast event. It, it had some changes and obviously different sideline, but it was a similar concept. And so I have already tailored some of the team off of that and had a variation where I can have two deep cuts human torches just to have added flexibility because it helps offset if I don't have a TK available off of Franklin. Um, and then I, I tried when I, I played Tyler the other day and I tried it without a leadership, uh, which seems like sacrilegious at this point. Um, yeah, but you were running Bentley for leadership. <laughs> yeah, I was running Bentley. Well, no, or, or Jim Hammond. I, I had it. True, true. Jim Hammond was an option, but honestly, it didn't. Um, it didn't feel that bad uh, not having the leadership. If I really, really needed it, it generally felt like it was Franklin turn to do something. Yeah, I was and, gonna say. I think you picked leadership twice with Franklin in that game. Yeah, and it was because it was his turn to do something. It wasn't right. like. Oh, I need everyone else to move. It was Franklin's going to choose leadership at this point, and it, so it didn't feel that bad because you know I married Jane and you know the paparazzi to do some autonomous things, um, and then it's like Scarlet Witch and Sarkarian Iron Man. So it's like those two and Franklin. So if I if Lockjaw's moving, he's probably carrying Franklin. So that means Franklin's not doing anything anyway. So. It, it, it wasn't bad. I, it's probably not ideal, but it, it made me second guess, and now I'm like, hey, I don't know if I have to play a leadership every single time. And leadership's obviously good, but having that flexibility with the two human torches felt pretty darn good. So um, Yeah, I've run... Um, I have run Franklin as my only leadership before, um, back when I was running like, Cosmic with... Uh... Captain Marvel, so um, it's definitely not bad. And yeah, if you don't need to pick it that turn for whatever reason, you have the flexibility. Yeah, so that's I, I'm pretty sure I'm sticking with this team at this point because we're about oh a month away, a month and like six days. So yeah. I think at this point I, I'm settled on this, this celebrity team. Uh, I'm probably going to keep toying around with the sideline, debating whether I really want Nathaniel Richards at any point. Um, debating about whether I need to now add Mr. Fantastic, the one that just gets rid of blocking. Um, you know, I, I just got to test the sideline. I think the main core is set. I'm now on to optimization. What's the best swap Emotion, out? Emotional yeah. modifier. Well, yeah, I, I debate about that. Like, probably, but maybe not. I don't, I don't know. I haven't fully decided because mm -hmm. it's it's not you have a if i was going to get to your team i mean you obviously have plenty of um 
outwits to be um, dishing out there. Two of them. Yeah, so I, that's probably a, a pretty decent concern because if I was trying to rune marker you and rely on the super senses and shape change, but I don't know it. I think the watch list does hurt Thanos, but I think it hurts every other Thanos player because I think, Dan, you've just been preparing for it, so that's why you feel better about it than probably other people do because you have already been practicing this version for a while now. So Yeah. Did you just, uh, did you just uh, parlay that over to my team then, Alex? Of course I did. I am the master of segments. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Uh, we got to make sure we point out all the segues because we don't. We don't. I don't like to be that smooth. Mm, um, all right, it's, it's fine. It, it's you do a good job at it, Alex. Um, so I have switched over to the J version, uh, J Solomon version of Thanos, um, because so is it is Thanos Collector Sprite Star Sapphire Molecule Man. Uh, the cloak for collector and um, Aunt Petunia's house. Aunt Petunia's house. Uh, yeah. That's that's. Always the, thought it, I, I've always thought that location bonus has been. It's underrated. good because the consolation is your opponents only get six range for their outwit, prob, and perplex. Um, which just screws up everybody's placement. Whenever they're, whenever Saki has eight range, uh, Scarlet Witch has seven. Um, opposing Thanoses have ten for their prob. Um, True. So seems it's good. It seems it's good. It's gonna it's come out real good in practice. So um, Sprite really great. Uh, she can't be. She can only be punched. Um, until she takes damage, or she's only two clicks, so she takes damage. Right. She's probably getting KO'd. But she's power, co cosmic energy, shape change, super senses, outwit, prob, um, mm -hmm. with phasing. Um, and yeah, she's really good with collector because she's the only good figure from that set. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, so it's really collector doesn't have a lot of figures uh, right now because there's not a lot of sets. Um, but she's kind of the kind of the only figure, right? And then Star Sapphire's there for TK. Uh, Star Sapphire is like the character that doesn't make it out of the first act of the movie, um, <laughs> and uh, but uh, she's there to TK the cloak to Collector. Um, and if she then if she lives longer than that, then um, we're in good shape. So. Um, yeah, and then uh, the cloak goes on Collector, who is uh, just a better Spider Pharaoh, uh, unfortunately. Uh, that he... seems like a big words. Yeah, I mean, if he gets his cloak, right? If somebody steals the cloak, then it's a lot harder. Uh, but mm -hmm. in general, right, sh he takes two clicks and you get senses because he's power cosmic. The problem I kept running into with Pharaoh for at a 60 point investment, everyone was just outwitting her senses and clapping her. Yeah, that's where I'm at too. Um, and um, I just, ugh, just I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna outwit Spider Pharaoh, Spider Pharaoh's senses, and I'm just like, ugh, stop doing that, ugh, mm -hmm. stop doing that. Um, so, um, that that's yeah, weird. for what you're doing with Spider Pharaoh, I can see because you know he's kind of perfect. He's she, only twenty five point. No, I'm talking oh, about collector. Oh, collector. Yeah, and he takes two hits to KO, right? And he gets senses on right. both of them. So right. it, it um, it's really he's good. a ten move too, right? With phasing. Yeah, so. and plus the sidestep, and he's got perplex. Um, yeah, so he's real solid. And the team. So the main thing is the team gets the damage buff. Um, and you get the damage buff whenever you mind control opposing characters. Mm -hmm. So that like is nice. the extra damage that you're losing from the fire, you just get from the opposing characters team. So these really good characters that they're playing, right? So now Flash is four damage. Um, you know, Agatha is five damage. Well, for five, dual target. Right with Psyblast. Um, mm -hmm. you know, 
Um, uh, d uh, you know, uh, there's the one of the Doom, the Doom 67. If you outwit his Battle Fury, he is five damage, right? As well on close. Um, mm -hmm. And then, like, random things that aren't a threat, like Sprite goes up to three, Star Sapphire goes up to three, Molecule Man is now at three, or I'm sorry, two. Um, Thanos mm -hmm. is at a consistent four. Power Gem, he's at a five. So it makes up for a lot of the enhancement that I lost on the Spider Pharaoh team um, mm -hmm. fairly easily. Um, and it's got a lot more barrier. Um, so I'm playing a more defensive run and gun sort of game. Um, so I, <laughs> but more run, less gun. Um, and not really, because I, I mean, in Brad's event, out of a possible 900 points the other day, I scored 830. That's true. That's fair. Um, so I think, I think in this, we played like once, I think. Um, but I've seen the team a couple times. So it seems like, um, you probably, it, well, j the other team had Spider Pharaoh, so you could carry your whole team around. Yeah. This one, it kind of feels like they move up, they kill the support, and then you're just like, I expected all of them to die. I am leaving them because I can only carry one figure. Yeah. You know? So that's what it, it feels like. You you basically know they're going to die, but if you're on Realm of Death and you're phasing uh, every they, turn, you're mind controlling every he, turn. Hero clicks figures don't die, they get KO'd, Tyler. I apologize. They're like, po <laughs> they're, they're po like Pokemon. <laughs> they fainted, yes. Yeah, they fainted. Um, I'm going to say that every time now. Ah, oh, you, you made my Heroclix figure faint. Right. Well, well, it does say it in the in the rule book at some point. It does. It does do. It does say that. Um, I think, Dan, you have to add a benefit. Like, with Sarkarian and Iron Man, the desire to steal his cloak is incredibly high. For Thanos, it's like, man, I gotta get really close to you right. to do that. And I know Thanos is just gonna be like, hey, dude, welcome. Yeah, Join the team. So it's a lot yeah. less desirable to go up there, even though the cloak is pretty important. It's not detrimental if you don't get it, but it is... Right. I think it's detrimental if you don't it's, get it. It's pretty important to your mobility with Thanos to be like, alright, see but, ya. But Thanos can also punish that very hard. Right. right. So yeah. the the issue is like in general like the maps that work really good for trying to beat Thanos are just really good maps for Thanos to attack on when he has a lot of barrier. So like the Spider Pharaoh team didn't have enough barrier. Molecule Man's buff now means that he has plenty. Um, mm -hmm. But like like you take Glen Grove. Uh, just being able to have a ten range thirteen for four character. Is pretty good. Um, so it, it's it's not it's not too crazy to think about um, that. Like Greg Grove is just fine for him to be on, right? He's just yeah. he's just shooting at things. It's fine. Um, yeah, you can actually body block now though um, for like actually shooting. Right, it, which it, feels nice. It, it does, um, but. It's fine. As long as he can target <laughs> something, it's probably fine. He can also mind control the people out of the way um, with a little bit more mm -hmm. effort. But, I mean, for the most sure. part, right? I mean, Mary Jane Watson becomes even more powerful. Um, the paparazzis are even crazier, basically. Because um, they deal one damage? Uh, there's that, but I'm talking about as your body blocker scenario. Oh, true. Yeah, um, yeah don't, be, don't be doubting them, Tyler. I'm doubting them. I you, don't like them. You've, you've been well. You don't like them because you've been body blocked by them. Well, uh, I mean, you're, I tried them on my team and I didn't like them. Well, I was meeting more of like your human torches. All those times I tried to, um, I kept facing yeah, you, even though you knocked them away easily with a stupid uh, <laughs> the barrier. It was still uh, funny to just keep running over and yeah, like hello. Yeah, they are annoying for sure. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> the so, problem is, is Mary Jane really loses her uh, usefulness once they come out. Because then it's like, do I want to do anything with her? Uh, I had her throw a light object. Once. Yeah, she's autonomous. She might as well use the action to tie up. Or yeah. It helps if you have, like, shield, right? Because of, yeah. <laughs> there's actually something to do with her. Um. Yeah, but so, like, the other version of the team, like, I played against Adam Friedman's uh, version of the team, and, like, 
he was doing a lot of different <coughs> stuff with his last 100 points. And his thought was, well, as long as I can move my Thanos up, as long as Daniel doesn't come over and crit hit me a whole bunch of times, I'll be okay. Uh, and roll 20 rolled two crit hits for me that turn. Um, oh, so, good. so that was a big thing. So I actually like Adam's version of the team. Just any version of the team where Collector can get his damage buff and you just play other good pieces, it's probably fine. So... I mean, makes sense. Makes sense. Um... So, I was going to think, I was looking at the questions here. Um, so, the road to Nats, I think that is about it for us this week. Um, so, uh, we did get an update on Whirl. Uh, let's ask this. Peter Marshfield, was there a figure that did not make the watch list that you feel should have been made, that you feel should have made the watch list? Um, yes. What would the errata be for said figure? Yeah, it's, it's le Legacy Lockjaw. Um, and mm -hmm. I think that, you know, making him unique would have been one way to do it, uh, but also just adding Mastermind um, once per turn. So once per turn, a character can use Mastermind from Lockjaw would probably be fine, Man, that's... too. That'd be a little too much. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think just having him unique is enough to because he was really only super annoying when you have two of them. And it's like, OK, I can I can chew through one, but this other one is still going to be there. Right. So. It gives you almost a two to three turn delay unless you specifically plan for lockjaw. So I think mm -hmm. if they had made him unique, I think that would have been fine. I don't think Fantastic Four people would have complained, but I think ultimately <laughs> it would have been it would have been okay. Yeah, they would have been screaming from the rafters. Um, um but what about y'all? I don't know. I I I think I'm fine with them adding lockjaw to the list if they if they were looking at all these other figures um again i'm i, I don't really like changing too much so I, I don't think he would need a change but um I'm trying to think if there's anybody else maybe destroyer destroyer is so good dude mm -hmm. he might need to be looked at because that he does so much for your team Oh my goodness! Yeah, like maybe Destroyer having to go have a role to go back to his sideline or only once per game or something. I don't know. He he's KO'd a lot of figures for me. I think maybe increasing the number you have to roll to bring him in because it's so consistent. You like I just learned this. I thought it was a six on the first roll you needed. You a five or a six brings him in every time. Uh, someone like you can it triggers and it triggers a lot because a lot of people are equipped. Yeah. Um, so yeah, maybe like an increase to to that number or something, because destroyers, he he's very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alex, what about you? Man, someone that should have been on the watch list and wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, Peepers. We're not there yet. That's the <laughs> one that they're gonna. That's who they're gonna buff. Oh, okay. That's the one that they're uh, is more than potent. That I'm gonna give him my control. Yeah, um, man, no, because all the Disney Plus is too early to even consider because they haven't had enough time. So like, the early calls for oh, Sarkarian Iron Man and Agatha and, and Scarlet Witch. It's like, well, no, the meta just hasn't solved those yet. Like, yeah, give it a little bit, that. a little bit more time because now, do I think eventually Sarkarian Iron Man goes on there? Probably, I think mm. at this point he's a little too good. Um, but no, I don't think there was a lot more that I would would have wanted to, to be on there. I think it, it's fine. Yeah. Scarab, maybe Scarab's interaction with uh, the post, the, 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 the one thing I think is kind play. of dumb. radio yeah. play, yeah. I think that's a dumb interaction, um, but it's not overpowered. But I just think it's kind of dumb. So, but you know, Sprite. They should have put Sprite on there. What? Yep. Why? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I, don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> um, it's good because I was lying. Okay. Um, all right. So 
remainder of questions for tonight. So I think the only other thing I majorly wanted to talk about, uh, so John Murillo asked that question as well. Uh, James Tilton, Patrick Booth, John Eric Hefford. So I think Jack Smith, uh, we did get an update on Worlds. Um, mm-hmm. Or, uh, like we got an update saying that there will be updates. So I, I, you know what? I, I was going to, I had a different speech plan for this next podcast. Should we not have gotten an update? Um, yeah. So someone went over the timeline. Um, like I went through over the timeline of when we got the dates from the last worlds and that sort of thing. The dates really aren't good enough. Like this information that we have is still too late for a lot of people right um so like i think in general right like um the attendees will have a room block like we should have already kind of known that date we are the, the sorry not the date the price we should already the price should have already kind of been worked out right um like i said it doesn't matter to me or uh, really anybody on this podcast but um it matters to a lot of people and like the date that each championship is happening it kind of needs to be out there you can give us a high level what's happening thursday what's happening friday what's happening saturday what's happening sunday um because there might only be people that can come down on saturday or might only be able to come down on a friday um Mm -hmm. depending on their schedule and they kind of need to know that stuff now I am extremely grateful for the updates that we are getting, but I would like to see just a little bit more for people. Um, I, I'm not sure. I, I've been thinking about this. How, how soon? Like I, I don't know what the standard is. How, how soon should they, you know, should they let someone? Should they let us know? Right, so, I don't know. So, here's what I'm going to do while we're talking about it. Uh Um, So, I'm just, I'm just, I just Googled Magic World Championship. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the second result here is the pinnacle of the 2021-2022 season arrives with Magic World Championship 28. Get ready as 32 players battle for prizes and glory October 28th through the 30th, 2022. Mm-hmm. Um. So when was that posted? Uh, it's up now. So that's even a, yep. that's, that's further ahead of what um we have for WizKids Worlds. Uh, well, no, because May- we, so we have the dates. Ju- now. June fourteenth, twenty twenty two. Here's an article. Uh, mm-hmm. Magic World Championship information for invitees. Let me. I'm just gonna click on this link. Yeah. Um. So. We have, yeah, we have formats, invitees, tournament structure, uh, prizes. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, we're <laughs> playing the wrong game. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Wait, Don't say it. Oh, my God. We're going to drive people away from here. <laughs> no, I'm going to say it. The, these 32... Is it like 100,000 or something? No, you're off. You're low. Okay. There is a $500,000 prize pool. Um, and there's yeah, 30, but how much does first get? A hundred k. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's twenty times more than I won in Hero Clicks at a single tournament. Twenty times. I'd have to win rock. I'd have to win Rock Worlds twenty years in a row to to match that. <laughs> um, and but, that's one of their tournaments. That's, there's that's a lot the, of other cash tournaments. That's true. So, um, but it's all there. The the. <laughs> all this other stuff it's an in, in, in invitee sort of thing so they obviously don't have hotel information or whatnot i'm not going to just continue to yeah but it sounds like um that you came know what june 14th right no no it did but november the november the november 15th of 21 there was an mm-hmm. article that was posted magic world championship 28 with all of the ways to qualify for it but not dates or anything. But no dates. So they acknowledged so, that it was happening last November. That is... I, I understand. We cannot hold WizKids to the same standards of 
Wizards meet, of the Coast. Meet me somewhere in the middle, then. Yeah, I agree. I but I think we'll get there. Like, I think that's the main point, is, like, this is their second attempt at, at I get there. world and I... and. Well, I want to okay. be clear. I want to be clear. I'm not being. I don't. I'm. I, I'm not being maybe quite as harsh as you guys are making it out to be. I just want a little bit better. Just a little bit better improvement over last year. Over the not last year. The last time this had happened, that we did this, and we're yeah, getting. We're um, getting. We're getting about the same as last time. I want just a little bit better. That's fair. I obviously it, it always room for improvements and stuff like that. But um, I'm grateful for this because. I am. I, before we've just said, you know, hey, just give us something. Just give us an update. And they did. And they, this is what they've got so far. Um, yeah. I'm and again, it's, you know, it's not till September. Um, they have the, the, the dates so we can ask off work. If we need to, we can, we can get plane tickets or whatever you sort of transportation needs you require. Yeah. Um, can already be done. Um, you know, I, so I, I'm okay. I'm not, the, my one complaint right now, I just just show us some of the dials. I just want to see some of the dials. Damn it! It's a week away from Canadian Nats. Just give us a sneak peek of something. Oh, the dials of um, the prizes. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, but other than that, I'm I'm pretty content right now. But maybe that's me speaking from a place of privilege. Maybe I don't know. Um, I would say all of these uh, all these folks that are qualified for the Magic World Championship. Um, I, I I don't really have an I don't know what I'm trying to get at, but uh, they look like they play pretty competitive games of stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm okay. in, I was I guess I'm intimidated by this list of uh, <laughs> okay. by, the, by the pictures of these people. Uh, mm. Yeah, they look like uh, pretty pretty crazy stuff. Anyways, yeah. Um. That's just the comparison, I think. Um, so, but like, what should he prep for? Uh, what should Jack prep for? I mean, like, you need to get start getting your pieces. I don't know, get some pieces. You know, be thinking about that. I mean, the sword stuff uh, is a big bogey. But, um, like, you get your flights, get your time off work. Um, you know, be thinking about who you're going to do Team Worlds with. Um, what's interesting that they still don't mention format I know that'll be in a later email or you know a later announcement but we still don't quite know if there's gonna be any Silver Age well they say world championships, championships right yes. so like in, in, a, in the void of information that we have right we look to the uh, uh, the uh, Clicks Illuminati reading of the article, uh, which would state that they said multiple world championships. Yeah. Right? They said plural instead of one. So we're thinking, oh. Same with Team World, yeah. They said Team World championships. Yeah, is there going to be more than one type of Team World championship? No, oh, they don't have the time. What if they? What if they do, Tyler? What if they run it and overnight consecutively? Just, oh, okay. just run it. With, there's four straight days of hero clicks, right? <laughs> no sleep. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know about all that, but uh, I mean, we the the reasonable thought is is that they're just going to do 300 modern and team sealed. I hope. I mean, my hope. I, you know what I want in my heart is that they run Silver Age Worlds on Thursday. That's that was my thought. I think that's definitely a possible. Like, a, I would give that above a fifty percent chance, honestly, that they do something like that. Right. That's what I'm hoping for, um, and I would love for that to happen. Right. So come in on Wednesday, you know, show up Thursday. Let's have Silver Age Worlds. Right. All the same pomp and circumstances. Um, Modern Age Worlds. Right. You get the design of figure. You get all the Chase and Prime sets. You get all the factory sets. Um, let's make it happen. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, it's a world championship, right? The team world. It is. That's true. The, the team Not world. Everybody the, can make it Thursday, though. The team worlds gets the everything as uh, the modern age worlds does. 
That's true. That's true. So, and that's sealed, you know. That's sealed, right? So, like, I, I mean, are you trying to say sealed is better than Silver Age, Tyler? Is more comp- you're trying to say Silver Age is more comp- or s- You're trying to say that sealed is more competitive than uh, Silver Age? Is that what you're... As far as a competitive format goes? <laughs> uh, I would say it is more... There'll be more people playing in it, for sure. <laughs> Very, uh, very charismatic answer. Um, so, all right. Anything else question wise? Um, I don't think so. I don't think we missed anybody. Um, so, final thoughts, Alex. Uh, we just got to get ready for Nats now. We know everything that's going to be there for nationals there's no ex of swords we know what the watch list is so we got a month and some change so yep, yep. i get tyler. to practice it. tyler um oh uh you send me pms on <laughs> how to do that i will send you five dollars no do not do that <laughs> that disqualifies you if there are feedbacks in your post. <laughs> right. So, Tyler, how much are you paying to not receive feed picks? <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm not gonna. So I'm you're not saying respond to that? So you're you're saying that you're not gonna turn down feed picks? I'm saying I want this conversation to end. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thanks everybody for listening to Clicks Off today. Thanks for watching our unboxing as well. Um, appreciate you uh, understanding our technical difficulties there and uh, we'll talk to y'all next time see ya